हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल क्रिएट अ बेसिक लॉग इन फॉर्म इन क्यूटी फ्रेमवर्क यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस एंड आई विल आल्सो इंप्लीमेंट ग्रेड लेआउट इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट I hope you have complete understanding about grid layout. If you don't know that how to implement this grid layout in our project, then you can watch video that was created about uh, this grid layout implementation. Uh, the link of that video is provided in our description. Uh, so here I have to create new project, and here I will select this Qt widgets application, and after this I will choose. Uh, this choose button and here I have to uh, declare a name for this project. Uh, so I will choose login. You can use any other name for this project. And next I will work with QMake and I will press next. This is class information and I will not make any change in this class information window and I will press next. This is the translation file window. You can translate any file into any other language. Uh, but I will press next again. And here this is a list of kits. You can choose any list, uh, sorry, kit. But I will choose this main GW64 bit. And then I will press next button. And then I will press this finish button. So our project is created and now I am inside our project. So here is uh, some header files and uh, below is our main function. I will remove this main window dot add file uh, because I have to create my own user interface window and I will also remove this uh, statement, uh, sorry, these statements, those relates to main window dot h file. And here I have to include some header files uh, for label, line edit and uh, uh, push button. So first of all, I will uh, include grid layout, Q grid layout. And after it, I will include uh, using sharp include. And now I will include uh, Q label. Okay. So I will define here Q label and next I have to include uh, edit line header file. So I will include using sharp include and here I will define name of header file Q line edit. This is widget and Q label is also a widget of this uh, Qt framework and next I will include an other uh, header file that is Q push button. Uh, so these are enough. Uh, if I need uh, more header files or more widgets, so I will include header file here. Uh, so next I have to create my own user interface window. Uh, so I will define here Q widget and I will create a pointer for this Q widget. And pointer is W because I have to create a window. Uh, so I will use this word W. You can use any other name instead of W and next with new word, new keyword and Q widget, sorry, Q widget at parenthesis. And then I will use semicolon in last of every uh, statement. And next uh, I will define a title for this window. Uh, so here I will uh, call function using W pointer and our function is set window title okay and this is our function that will set a title for this user interface window and title is uh, login form you can uh, use any title but i will use here login form and next i have to show this user interface window so i will call uh, by using this pointer and arrow and function is show. Uh, this function will show our user interface window and all uh, data that will uh, carry in by this user interface window. And next I have to create a Q label, Q line edit and a push button. Uh, so first of all, I will create a label. So here I used Q label and now I have to create a pointer for this Q label and our pointer should be, uh, you can use any name for this pointer, but I will uh, use label one for uh, first label and uh, then new keyword and Q label. And now I have uh, 
set a value for this queue label and value is username because we have to get username first of all and so here i am typing username and then semicolon and next i have to create another label for password so here i will uh, type q label and now i have to create an other uh, pointer that is label 2 uh, first was label 1 and other is uh, label 2 and new keyword and q label and now i will set value for this label uh, password you can use any other value but i have to get password in uh, second line edit so i will uh, set here password label and next i have to create uh, or implement uh, two line edit widgets uh, so here i will uh, type q line edit and next i have to create a pointer for this uh, q edit line too and here i will uh, define a pointer name name and here new and q line edit without parenthesis because uh, we have not to set any value for this q line edit and uh, next i have to create an other uh, q line edit so here i will type again q line edit and this is for password so here i will set pointer pw i mean password and next new keyword and q line edit without parenthesis and then semicolon uh, so i have created these two line edits and next i have to implement a push button widget so here i will create a pointer for this push button so here i will select q push button and now i have to create a pointer for this push button and pointer is uh, login you can use any other name but i am using login and next new push button and i have to set a name for this uh, push button and that is login okay this is value for push button and next i have to set positions of these widgets in our user interface window first of all i will set position of level one and after it i will set position of line edit one uh, so this will be in same row uh, first of all uh, i will set uh, level one in first column of first row and then i will set position of line edit in first row and second column so here i will use or implement q grid layout so here i will type q grid layout because i have to set layout of all widgets so here i will create a pointer for this grid layout and this is grid so here i will create new pointer with new keyword q grid layout without parenthesis and then semicolon and next i have to add widgets in this layout uh, that is grid layout and here i will uh, use this grid pointer and then i will set arrow because this is pointer grid is pointer and then i will call function add widget and here i have to add a widget in this grid layout uh, first of all i have to define her name of widget that is level one and now i have to set position of this level one uh, first of all here i will define a row number so i will uh, set position of level one in first row that that is uh, index zero so here i will define zero for our row and then i will uh, set position for column that will be zero also so here this is zero for row and other zero is for column so this is first shell of our table so here i will use this semicolon and next i will set position of line edit widget uh, so this uh, level uh, one was set on uh, zero row zero index i mean first row and first uh, column and next i will set position of uh, this uh, q line we edit and so here i will use grid pointer and then add widget function and here i will define name of line edit that was name uh, so pointer 
is name that is pointing to our line edit widget that is first widget and now i will define name of that pointer that is name and now i have to set position of this uh, widget and first of all i will define uh, row that is zero or first row and then one it means second column uh, so here i will use semicolon and next i will run this project uh, because i want to show you output of this project that how i set these uh, widgets in positions in grid layout position so here i will use uh, w pointer to set layout in our user interface window here i used set layout and then pointer is grid that that is pointing to our grid layout uh, i passed this pointer as an argument so here i have to run this project after some time you can see here that what is our output so here you can see that uh, this is our user interface window and this is our first row i mean index 0 for row and this is our username in first column and then line edit in second column of first row so these are uh, our first two widgets first is label and other is uh, q line edit and these are uh, set in same row but different columns so next i will use another widgets and first widget is label 2 and second widget is line edit for second row so here i will use again grid pointer and then arrow and now i will use add widget function and here i have to define name of widget and that is label 2 for second row and here i will define row number one it means second row and next i will define column uh, index number for column that is zero because on second row in first column i have to set label so i define uh, positions of this label 2 and then semicolon next i will use this grid pointer again and then i will add an other widget that is line edit so here i will define or select add widget and here i will define name of widget that i have to set after label 2 and that is pw i mean password and next i have to define position and position is first row and second column sorry second row and second column for this password widget and here i will use a semicolon and next i will use this grid pointer again because i have to add an other widget in this grid layout so here i will add a widget and here widget is login that is in fact a push button and here i defined login that is push button and now i have to set position for this push button so here i define two i mean the third row and second column and next i will run this project by pressing this run button and after completing this building process you will be able to see this output uh, so this is our output first of all i will enter um, username and you can enter any name and next i will enter password this is our password and next is our login button and now i want to hide these values that are entered in password input field because this is a password and i do not want to show this password value is this possible of course this is possible so i will use here another technique to hide these password values uh, so here where is our password line edit and next line on next line i will use this password pointer and here i will select set echo mode okay and here i have to define category of this line edit uh, that is in fact the input field so here i will define uh, that what is our widget and that is q line edit and here I will define category that is member of this uh, q line edit and that is password uh, so next i will use semicolon and now i will run this project again and after completing this building process you will be able to 
uh, say this output and this is our output uh, here now i will uh, type password again that is converting into dots now this is a real login form uh, so this was our project about login form that i have created in this video i hope it was very easy to understand for you if you liked this video please share with your friends and subscribe our youtube channel